Hello, are we going to vlog today or not? That is a question I've been asking myself today. Am I being lazy? I don't know. <laughs> but if this, if you see this, that means I am vlogging. I'm going to the clear coast and I'm going to take photographs of George's head with the waves battering off it. I talked about it on a podcast there a few weeks back, trying to recreate that shot when I had inferior gear. I still haven't gotten that shot and I'm loaded with gear now. I haven't got a good a shot as I did before. So I'm going to accompany David Woodland, my buddy. He never shoots landscape photography, so we're going to drag him out and we're going to see what we can get. So yeah, let's hope the vlog gets finished. Or maybe not. Kilkey, Costa del Kilkey, and uh, David Woodland, like I said, is with me. Say hi, Dev. Hello. So, as I talked a while ago, I got a photograph a couple of years back that I'm trying to recreate and get a better one with newer gear and better technology that uh, we have been entrusted with these days. So, I still haven't got that shot, and I've been back to that location hundreds of times without David. So, I've decided to drag David along with me see if he's the lucky leprechaun that entailed, entitles me to get this shot. It's me. I hope so. I hope it. So, fingers crossed. Alright, so we're going to belt on up the motorway and uh, yeah, check back in a bit. Come on, belt him out, Jamie! You got to know where to hold him. Know when to fold him. Come on, Jamie! Hey, come on, I can! Go on! You get demonetized or something. Ha ha ha! The gambler, he broke even. Yes! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! So I think we're really happy we came. The wind is ridiculously fast. It's 55 kilometers per hour. And uh, we're certainly west here. And it is picking up big time. George's head is getting better just as much as I wanted. So we're going to jump back into the car. We're going to head over to look in. Let's go! Now I just wanted to show you this drone footage of George's head to show you how tranquil and peaceful the place can possibly be and it also gives you a sense of scale.
Oh my god! So we're heading up along the Dunlicky Cliff walk. Just look my shoulder, it's charged his head. The waves are crashing up against us so hard. The conditions are absolutely perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Dave really is the lucky leprechaun. And these waves just over here, I'm gonna swing this around now. They might pop up. I mean, it's just insane. Give it a second. Oh. I don't even know if this audio is going to come true. Whoa, the scene over there! Oh. so we have decided to vlog we are here at the Samaritan's hut and it is quite windy I have to say but we are sheltered now I have a bit of a, uh, a bit of a window it's coming straight in the top of me so I'll move back to here now that's not too bad the light is coming and I'm sorry now two seconds wait there see if I can grab a shot there is lovely light there at the moment so we're just waiting for the right wave David you'll tell me if a wave comes so uh Dave is behind me here, he's shooting away on his Sony A7R 3 Now, so, yeah, Sony, that's all you need to know. It's not a Canon, basically. Um, but yeah, so we're shooting away on the Canon ASR. It's not the best sports camera in the world, but for here, it's perfect. I can just bang away shots here until that right wave hits that cliff head, and I'm golden. Uh, the light is nice and... Uh, it's harsh and that's what I kind of want at the moment. I want to be able to play with the shadows, the darks and the highlights and I want to be able to get that, that light kind of hitting and if it was kind of hitting different spots it'd be even better again uh, but it seems to be hitting the whole thing. So uh, you got to play around your Oh lovely, lovely. Go on, there you go. You're supposed to call me in a good wave comes Davey. Good wave, good wave. Yeah, Dave isn't doing his job. <laughs> But uh, we're going to keep banging away here. I have the 70 to 200 2.8 on it at the moment, and I am shooting at f11 ISO 50. A wave, all right, lovely. And we're going to go home with about 500 shots. So I'm actually going to give the 150 to 600 a bit of a belt uh, because I want to zoom in and get very intimate with the scene as well. Also, uh, so we'll bang that on, and we'll see how we get on as well. Well, this image is actually three different photographs all kind of blended in together to get the maximum amount of detail out of the image. It's crazy, absolutely crazy what Mother Nature can deliver us sometimes. So there could be a bit of a shot around the back of the house, so I'm going to bang on the 24 to 105 RF lens. I'm going to run up and see if I can get a wide angle shot. There's a bit of a pocket of light up in the sky, so I want to see if we can try get something from there. Uh, also, just be over my shoulder here that I'm shooting with the 70 to 200, 2.8, and 150 to 600 uh, Sigma Art lenses. I'm shooting on both focal lengths just so I can be greedy. So, like I said, get intimate on the scene and then kind of get far out from the scene as well at the same time. So, it's great having two cameras. <laughs> right, I'm going to belt around the car and see what I can get. I'd actually sit there for hours on end just watching these majestical waves just crash up against the headland and the shapes and the patterns that it makes, like watch it here, and the wind will just carry it up over the brow of a hill, and it's just magical, you know? Can I get the 
Shark! Sieht mir wie heißt es nicht mehr! Das kann ich nicht mehr! Das geht 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 nicht finally managed to get a shot. The wind literally stopped for about 10 seconds. Well, it didn't stop, it just gave me a bit of a wind up. And I managed to pull up the camera and get my shot. I was just pleasantly surprised the second I looked in the back of the viewfinder to see the amount of detail that it actually rendered. Tough out. I just went up around the corner there with the wide angle lens, well, the 24 to 105, and I got absolutely blown out of it. But I think I may have gotten a shot, but I'm at the mercy that the fact, hoping to God there's no sea spray on the lens, because you can literally shoot for half a second and it's covered in sea spray. So you gotta wipe it with a cloth and uh, just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So I came back up to the hut now, and the light is fading fast. The sun has set in 10 minutes less and uh, there's a lot of low clouds after just kind of swallowing up so I don't even know if there are, we're going to get a decent sunset. There's a lot of mist coming in from the, the west coast now, the west side uh, coming in towards the east and uh, but look nonetheless we still had some good fun shooting. I think we had the best of light earlier maybe about an hour ago yeah. um, but gosh, look we're happy to get out and shoot and we may have a shot. Did you get one? Mm. Maybe one. Maybe one. I bet she's got about 20, he's just not telling yeah. anyone. Yeah. Davey's like that, you know, he's pure fucking... <gasps> <laughs> for the bold words. <laughs> Dave's a pure snake, you know. Say hi, Dave. Hello. How was your experience today? Uh, something different. Yeah. Very different, because as you know, I'm not a lover of the landscape. And the last time I came up here was what, maybe five years ago? Five years ago. Yeah. Uh, crazy back then, crazy today, but <laughs> got over the house for a few hours. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Amen. All right, so I think uh, we might pack up here quite soon, and uh, I'm famished anyway. Are you hungry? No, not too bad. I had a roll on the way up. You didn't mean leave me here. And you whip me Twix. I didn't eat your Twix. Where is it? You gave that to me. I bought two. All right, was the second one for yes. you? <laughs> I thought you were bored for me. Did you eat both? No. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely going to pack up. We're going to call it a day. We're perished with the cold. Uh, our bodies are fine. It's just our hands. We just don't. I don't have gloves on, you know. So, but look, the Gore-Tex from the mountain equipment jacket and the Burkhas Gore-Tex pants, which were graciously supplied by 53 degrees north. Uh, so uh, go onto the website, have a check out of them. They're actually really, really nice people to deal with. Uh, go onto the website and uh, you get some great deals. Um, but yeah, that aside, look, I'm cold. I just want to go home and, uh, well, not go home, we'll go get food. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens then because that light is absolutely gone. Nada. Like gone forever. But I enjoyed my time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the vlog. I know it's not going to be very long uh, and it's not going to be very clear at times. Uh, hailstones just literally came there two seconds ago. But look, please give us a like, subscribe, comment, whatever the crack. And uh, we'll have... Uh, and we featured David Woodland as well. Yeah, I'll stick a link to his Facebook page down below. Uh, thanks a million for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Hey -o! Well, I hope you've loved this episode and why don't you join me next week when we head back to the Dolomites to go on another crazy adventure.